Hello, my name is Jacek Duda. I'm the Product Marketing Manager for Interface IP at Cadence. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Access PI. So most of you are familiar with all of the past uh, NOR Flash SPI standards like Quad SPI and Octal SPI. Access PI is actually meant to become a superset of them all and provide users with some more functionality for the ever-growing and ever-improving in speed flash market. So the Access PI is actually the first standard that's, be, that's become like an official JADEX standard with the code name of JESD251. That's the, that's the official XSPI. And then there's also another code, another JADEX standard, JESD 216C, that's also uh, providing some of the functions included in the standard. The other specifications that are covered by the XSPI are, as I mentioned, QSPI, so the quad one, octal SPI, hyperflash, hyperflash, hyper RAM, and SPI NAND. So as you can see, there are quite a few. And the other improvement over the QSPI and OSPI IPs is that the XSPI has its own built-in DMA so that it offloads the users, the application designers, from a lot of software development and uh, facilitates the use of XSPI in some more automated applications. Cadence is working closely with XSPI vendors like Adesto, Macronix, Cypress, and Micron to ensure interoperability of our XSPI IP with their memories. We're working on an FPGA platform that will be available to our partners and interested customers starting Q3 2019. So check with us then or even now to make sure you get the latest and greatest information on the Cadence XSPI IP. Meanwhile, stay tuned for the next Whiteboard Wednesday next week. Thanks a lot and goodbye.